Hi, welcome guys. Um, this video is going to show you how to outreach to your training uh, or your volunteers out in Colorado. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this website here that will be provided in the drive. And what we're going to do is click sign in with Facebook. So this is our first step. It should take you to this screen. Typically, it also sometimes glitches out and takes you to a completely other different screen and it will read like this. This will read the UR. Uh, this is what the URL will, will read as. So what you need to do in that case is simply backspace and just put forward slash admin and it will take you to the same page. So what we're going to do is we need to find our Colorado volunteers. So we're going to go to people and here are all of our people that we have in this system. Now this is our paths our paths are what we put our volunteers on in certain tasks so we can keep track of the work that they're doing. Our filter here is how we find those people. So think of this as a giant database and our filter is the way that we parcel out the people that we need to find. And we have all sorts of different ways that we can do that. But currently, we're only going to focus on finding our volunteers in Colorado. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to paths, we're going to type in political, and then we're going to type, and then we're going to select a volunteer program. This will narrow down our list to about 60,000 people. Yeah. Next, we're going to filter that because we need the Colorado volunteers. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a filter. So we're going to add a criteria. The first criteria we're going to add is address. We're going to click address, address state. So we want the people from Colorado. So we're going to click address state. You can also do this exact same thing and uh, get it even more specific. If you want to just simply contact people in Denver or people in Boulder, you can do the same thing. So, I address state Colorado. Next, we're going to go to phone, if I can find it, callable, and then we're going to select the option that says is callable. That means anybody who has a phone number is going to be in this list. Those are the people we want. Now, next we're going to add a criteria, contact history contacted and then we're going to select has not been contacted we want to reach out to our volunteers that nobody has reached out to yet and get them on board and then we're going to click filter after that is all done now once this loads it'll bring up your entire list of Colorado volunteers should be around a thousand well at this point it should be around a thousand hopefully by the time you guys start calling people it will go down now, there's two ways you can do this. You can go through single person view or list view. I personally like to use list view because all I do is I simply open their name in a new tab. Now, we're going to start with this. So here's her phone number. Here's all the important information. She doesn't currently have an email. Um, so I'm going to go on to the next person who does have an email so that I can actually properly show you guys how to do this. All right, so we have a phone number. We have an email. Um, what we're going to do is first, before we even pick up the phone to call them, we're going to log contact, and then we're just going to simply say, about to contact volunteer. The purpose of this right now is because we're going to have multiple people calling volunteers. We need to designate them as contacted initially, so that way people, when they go to a person's profile and look, we're not touching, we're not calling somebody twice within the span of five minutes. It makes us look really silly. So. I listed that she's about to be contacted. If you want to get that information, show more down here. It will show that note that I've put in for that volunteer. Now, next, we're actually going to call Sarah. So we're going to ask Sarah, for, for now, she's interested in social media outreach. We currently uh, do not have a social media director. So let's just pretend this says phone bank. So we call her. She says she's interested in phone banking. Our next step is to go to log contact, phone call, and make sure this says phone call because that is very important to our metrics. Left message, and then what we're going to do, uh, or left message if she didn't pick up the phone, obviously. Meaningful interaction, um, however it goes, just judge accordingly. Refused, no answer, not interested, all those things. So we're just going to say we had a meaningful interaction and she's interested in phone banking. So we're going to log that, contact it. Um, into the system. Next what we're going to do is we're going to add that path to her profile. So this path, political phone bank, digital RSBP. 
we're going to assign the path to me so that I can keep track of it. And then the step you're initially going to have them on is RSVP via calendar. So uh, the best part is you just hit submit there, and boom, now this path shows up. What this means now is when I go into the system and I look for people um, who have been contacted and are in this path, then I know that they need to have a profile created. Um, if some of you want to go above and beyond and go to the next step, you would email this individual with the North Star volunteer login information email, which I'm going to have provided in the Google Drive. What you're basically going to do is copy and paste that email in there and then send it to her. And what you're going to do is you're going to build uh, and you're going to give her that login for Nation Builder as one of the as one of the logins here. So you're going to say basically this because multiple people can log into the same volunteer password account. So that is how you locate and contact your volunteers. The same goes if they, for example, want to do polis. If they're interested in polis, then we will go to political volunteer canvassing. Sign path to me, obviously. And then step, provide volunteer resources for polis. I will be moving these people along as soon as I see that you have contacted them and they need this information. Um, and I will be adding them into the system if they have not already been or been contacted. If you're going to contact somebody and send them that email, then make sure that uh, you include that in the notes down here. So say, has been contacted, yes, that's spelled incorrectly, via email with information for, and then insert whatever you put here. So phone bank, North Star, uh, whatever it may be. So that's our two primary groups we need to find right now is we need to find our phone bankers and we need to find our canvassers that are going to get out on the Polis app. All of this information on what path or tag you're to assign to somebody based on what they say is going to be inside the Google Drive that I'm going to be providing. So um, also I'm going to do um, a, there's a file in there that gives you a step-by-step -step, uh, on how to find uh, the Colorado volunteers if you lose them again like for example here you go back to people so keep that in mind um, if you have any questions uh, my email is also provided in the contact information in the Google Drive feel free to ask me um, but until then that's pretty much how you find and call your volunteers